Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Uh, this is Brother Steve back with another video. Hope everybody's doing good today. Uh, hope y'all had a blessed day. Everything was good, worked out for your favor. It, you know, hopefully everything is, is uh, on the up and up. Well, y'all know me. You know, I'm thankful to be here. I'm thankful to be in front uh, of you to be operating in this hour and uh, operating in the gifts that the Most High has bestowed upon me. Uh, and I'm always looking to come up higher. Our brothers and sisters, the objective for us is to continue to come up higher. We must come up higher, okay? Uh, brothers and sisters, I want to thank uh, all the new uh, brothers and sisters that have tuned in for this channel. Uh, here on this channel, we deal with uh, a multitude of subject matters pertaining to the body of Christ, uh, the Bible, uh, history, prophecy, current events, uh, edification, so on and so forth. I'm what you call a, a jack of all trades when it comes to uh, this Bible that we use. Uh, that's just how I operate, but I really do believe that um, as a teacher, a watchman, uh, our brother that's operating in the same vein as, as y'all out there. I'm just thankful to be here. I'm, I, I get another opportunity, and so do y'all, and I'm thankful. So, brothers and sisters, I want to talk to y'all today uh, concerning diversity, okay? Diversity. Diversity. You know, usually when you talk about diversity, it usually pertains to uh, social groups, uh, colleges, for prime example, you go to college or the workplace, they always talk about the in in inclusion of diversity, okay? Um, you know, brothers and sisters, when I came into this truth, uh, when I became born again and saved, um, just like y most of y'all out there, if y'all think back to when you first became born again and saved and started learning about the Most High, about Christ, and uh, just, you know, just basically learning about uh, the operation of how the church should function, uh, its functionalities. And just, you know, just like me, uh, just like myself, if you will, I had no idea how important uh, the administrations and offices and functionalities uh, were within the body of Christ, Okay. Uh, obviously, as we're learning, uh, the Most High sends people along our way to influence and make a, a spiritual impact. That's how Christ works through uh, uh, the body, okay? Uh, brothers and sisters, I, uh, I first want to also, before I continue, I want to basically uh, thank the following channels and, and brothers and sisters that are in this work. Uh, Brother Newbreed, Shalom, bless you, thank you. Uh, Brother Ari Dawson, Shalom, bless you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Brother Mark the Messenger, brother, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Carrie Ann Giddens, thank you, bless you, Shalom, bless you. Uh, Miss Natasha Grace, bless you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Mrs. Banky Oyabati, okay, thank you, bless you, Shalom. Uh, the Reverend Kenneth L. Polk, shalom, bless you, thank you. Uh, Sister Sharon, JL Nations for Christ, thank you, thank you. Uh, Lydia Gassi, shalom, bless you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, Sister Sharon, shalom, bless you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Mrs. Mary Hughes, shalom, bless you, out of Flint, shalom, bless you, bless you. Uh, Sister Peggy Croissant, shalom, bless you, thank you, thank you. Sawana Georgia. So, brothers and sisters, I, uh, I always believe, and not even that, for you brothers and sisters out there right now who are learning, uh, who are increasing and coming up higher, I want to thank you especially. Bless you, shalom, bless you, bless you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Brothers and sisters, diversity within the body of Christ and the functionalities and the importance. Sometimes we need to be reminded. Um, so today I do have a pivotal message. I like to basically go into the book of Corinthians. Uh, this is going to be 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 
Uh, this is going to be 1 Corinthians chapter 12, okay? I'm, uh, just like myself, y'all, y'all know I like to read. I like to edify while I'm reading. Uh, I think that's the best way to go about it as a teacher uh, in this word. So today we will be uh, dealing with uh, the book of 1 Corinthians, okay? This is going to be the epistle or letter uh, to the church of Corinth from our, our brother, Apostle Paul, okay? And basically, brothers and sisters, I named and gave shout out to those brothers and sisters because of uh, the diversity, okay, the diversity in gifts. Each one of those brothers and sisters, including y'all out there, have gifts. You are blessed. You know, some of you are still seeking and praying and asking the Most High what your gift is. You know, brothers and sisters, I... Uh, what I'm going to say is a lot of times that the most high, uh, he's going to use you in a capacity and you'll know it. You'll know it. You, you, he, he, you, you will know. Some of us sometimes, you know, we get, you know, we, we, we get a little frustrated. Well, I'm here, you know, brother Steve to tell you, don't get frustrated. You keep studying this Bible and you keep doing the work. Whatever your gifts are. Some of y'all been had these gifts. Some of y'all been had gifts. You know, perhaps you, you know, you just, you know, for whatever reason, just, you know, didn't know. But, but one way or another, guess what? We all have gifts. And we are all anointed in Christ. You know, some of us have to just work a little harder like myself. I had to work a little harder to actually find mine. You know, like I said, I've always liked to teach. I've always liked to uh, study. Um, I'm, a, I'm a leader. I believe in, in building people up, motivating people. Uh, and so the Most High got me doing this for the time being until he's ready to move me on to something else. And guess what, brothers and sisters? I'll be way more than flexible to, to, to make that move. And hopefully I have the, the, the discernment to recognize so. So, brothers and sisters, let's cut to the chase. Let's get on these, uh, on these scriptures. Let's go to work. All right. Brothers and sisters, chapter 12, once again, 1 Corinthians, okay? And it states here, this is the Apostle Paul took him to the church of Corinth, okay? And it states... Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Wherefore, I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of the Most High call it Yeshia Christ Jesus, accursed. And that no man can say that Yeshia Christ Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. Now these are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. So brothers and sisters, you know, the apostle Paul, the brother Paul, he's saying, yo, guess what? The diversities within the body of Christ is still operated by one spirit. By one spirit. And that's the blessing. And the Apostle Paul is trying to make known that, yo, the diversities within the body of Christ, you know, hey, there are many members. But when all members are operating cohesively as one body, that's impacting the world. That's moving, that's doing the work for kingdom. That's kingdom building. Let's go, brothers and sisters. Verse five. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. See? All in all, brothers and sisters. All in all. All in all. Verse 7 states here, brothers and sisters, that that uh, that 
But the manifestations of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the spirit, the word of wisdom. Now, some of those are blessed with the spirit of wisdom. The wisdom. Wisdom in itself is the ability to look beyond. Wisdom is the, the aptitude or the implementation of having foreknowledge of previous experiences. There are those that are blessed with wisdom. Check this out, brothers and sisters. Yeah. This is a beautiful thing right here. To another, the word of knowledge by the same spirit. Brothers and sisters, those are those, they are those that are blessed with knowledge. Knowledge of this Bible. Knowledge of this, knowledge of that. They have a lot of information. And their whole objective is to edify and build, is to increase, to think outside the box from a surface level when it comes to spiritual matters. See? To another, faith by the same spirit. Now, brothers and sisters, these people that are operating within that particular gift uh, by uh, faith, these people are highly, 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 highly Strong and needed. I mean, these type of people right here, they're unshakable. They're immovable because their faith is just that strong. What an asset they are to the body of Christ. Okay? Let's continue, brothers and sisters. To another, the gifts of healing by the same spirit. And for these brothers and sisters, for those that have the gift of healing, precious, precious. These are what I call the prayer warriors. Boy, they go in. Boy, they, they, I tell you what, they, they guide you in. They'll guide you in. And they're strong. You know, they, they, they listen, they, they go into that closet and man, they go to work. Precious, precious. To another Excuse me. To another, the working of miracles. Now, brothers and sisters, well, for this particular, for these particular people, uh, whew, if they give not unique, uh, I don't know what it is because uh, they have the ability, just like uh, the ones who who are, are gifted with faith and, and healing, uh, the ones that work miracles. Well. Uh, the most high hand is definitely on them. Okay. They're also what I call intercessors. And, uh, well, they just have the ability to operate. I mean, a very, very heightened level of, of anointing, uh, anointing on them. You understand what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? All right, let's go. All right. To another discerning of spirit. Now, brothers and sisters, these folks here that, that, that have this uh, particular uh, uh, gift, uh, these people here, they, they discern very, very well. They have the ability to, uh, they don't have to say very much, these, these people here. Uh, you know, when they speak, uh, they, they're giving, um, uh, they, they operate in, in what I call uh, a, a level of, uh, they're very discreet, okay? They'll come to you. They'll give you warnings, okay? Uh, the Most High will be using them to, to perhaps provide you information and insight that, you know, could, could save you from making a uh, mistake or a decision. And I mean, you know, these people here, they're highly blessed. They're very, very blessed and anointed. Uh, thank the Most High for people that have the ability to uh, operate in this particular calling, okay? This office, if you will. To another diverse kinds of tongues. So these folks here are, are also uh, truly highly anointed. They have the ability of languages. Okay. Uh, to another, the interpretation of tongues. 
Now, the interpretation of tongues could be, if you will, just like, um, uh, just like, uh, just like the last group here. The, these people here, they also highly, 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 uh, very unique gift. Okay, the interpretation of languages. Um, you know, I look at uh, people that have the gift of 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 uh, uh, looking at the diverse kinds of tongues and, and interpretation of tongues. Uh, to me, these folks go hand in hand. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, same coin, two different sides, but the objective is the same towards the body of Christ. You know, that's just, you know, uh, my experience on, on seeing and witnessing people that operated in, in these particular uh, anointed gifts, uh, if you will. OK. Now, brothers and sisters, check this out. Verse 11, it states, but all these worketh that one and the self same spirit, right? Dividing to every man severally as he will. You see what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? What a blessing, right? All right. Verse 12, brothers and sisters, let's go. For as the body is one and hath many members and all the members of that one body being many, right? Many members, one body, right? So also is Christ. Christ. All members of the body of Christ, blessed with anointed gifts, is to serve the purpose for the kingdom of the most high in Christ. No matter what the gift is. See? That's the way it works. One machine. Many parts. You understand what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? That's the way it go. Real simple stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's just that sometimes in, in, this, in this walk, we, uh, you know, we question ourselves too. Sometimes the Most High Ben gave us certain, he, he Ben revealed certain things to us, but you know, because of our, because of our, our uncertainties, if you will, you know, we don't quite understand that we probably been some of y'all probably been operating in your calling for a long time. But, you know, hey, um, that's why that self-doubt is, is, is something else. You know, I always tell people, you know, that are operating brothers and sisters, you're blessed beyond measure. So when I be telling people that brothers and sisters, I be meaning that you are blessed beyond measure. Every single one of you blessed beyond measure. And because you are blessed, guess what? The blessings that you operate in in terms of your gifts, it can't be measured. Hallelujah. All glory and praise to the most high. That's something to feel good, to be thankful for. See? All right, brothers and sisters, let's continue, all right? Okay, where we at? Verse 13, here we go, y'all. For by one spirit, we are all baptized into one body, whether we be Hebrew or Jew or Gentile, whether we be bond or free and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Drink into one spirit, right? Verse 14. For the body is not one member, but many, many brothers and sisters. So we all got work to do. See, when y'all have a capacity, an objective and a job to do for the most high. Right. 
for Christ. Every single one of us has a job to do. That's why Christ said what? That the harvest is plenteous or plentiful, but the laborers are few. So Christ was telling them like, yo, there's a lot of work to be done. And y'all brothers and sisters know, hey, when you came to when you came to Christ, whenever that whatever point that was, you knew. You knew the Most High was calling you for a certain office to operate in, a gift. And every single one of you has a gift. Don't let the enemy, don't let Satan sit up there and try to blind you, give you self doubt. Get your spiritual courage on. Drink that spiritual liquid. You understand? Get that, you know what they call that liquid courage. Get that spiritual liquid courage and drink that, drink it up. And start doing what the most high commanded you to do. And brothers and sisters, guess what? You already know what it is. You're, some of y'all been operating in it, and you already know. Quit playing. Come on now. <laughs> hey, look, I ain't even got time to play with y'all. I'm so thankful and blessed to even be here with y'all. The brothers and sisters out there, y'all strong. Especially the ones up in this hour right now. For sure. <laughs> I got to say it like it is, brothers and sisters. It is what it is. Let's go. Let's continue, brothers and sisters. All right. All right. Where we at? All right. Now, check this out. Verse 15. It states here that if the foot shall say, because I am not the hand. I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? Now that's the question. That sounds ludicrous, don't it? That don't make no sense. <laughs> how the foot going to say, how the foot going to ask the body, am I not part of the body? No. Foot, hand, eye, nose, ear, everything. One body. Christ. See? Real simple. And verse 16. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? Another question. Even the eye. The eye asks, hey, am I, am I, am I not of the body? See? No. One body, multiple members, multitude of gifts, Christ, one spirit. See? One spirit moving, every single one of us, towards the mission, kingdom work, Christ. Let's go, y'all. All right, brothers and sisters, here we go. Uh, where I'm at? All right, all right. I tell you, I need to get my, uh, I need to get my thing here. Use I use this here when I read. These words are small, and uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes you know, hey, I, I don't want to lose my place here, so uh, it's all right. It's all right. Thank you for uh, bearing with me, y'all. Okay, so brothers and sisters, we are at. Uh, let's see here. We are at verse 17, and it states, If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where was the smelling? But now hath the Most High God set the members, every one of them, in one body. All members connected. One body, solidarity, cohesiveness, same direction, one body, commanded by the Most High through our Lord and Savior, Yeshua Christ Jesus. See, that's it. 
So that should be our focus. That should be our direction. See? All right. I was just thinking, brothers and sisters, you know, um, sometimes people would ask me, they would say, you know, Brother Steve, you know, or, you know, Big Steve or whatever the case may be. You know, they, I'd be out and about or whatever the case may be, and they'd be asking me, uh, uh, you, know, uh, you know, who you work for or what you do and this and that. You know, brothers and sisters, I ain't going to lie. I always tell them, like, well, I say, guess what? Uh, uh, the company I work for is the kingdom of heaven. And guess what? The most high is the CEO. Christ is the president. And the Holy Spirit is my financier. And I would tell people that. And they'd be looking at me all strange, like, so you like like what you like what do you do, bruh? I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just told y'all. I work for the kingdom of the most high. You know what I'm saying? That's it. So for some it went over their heads, but but hey, it is what it is, brothers and sisters. Y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? The most high Christ and the Holy Spirit. It's it's like a corporate. It's 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 uh it's a spiritual corporation from the heavens. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Let's continue, brothers and sisters. All right. Verse 18. But now have the most high set the members, every one of them in the body, as it hath pleased him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? Right? <laughs> but now are they Many members. See that, brothers and sisters? Many members. Many members, right? Yet, but one body. See? Hope this is clear, y'all. It's really that clear. This is, you know, this, it is what it is. See? And that's why when I be seeing these brothers and sisters, that's why I be seeing these people fighting and arguing and, and, and debating and all this other stuff. You know, um, it, it's just it, it, it causes damage. OK, um, because once again, the early church was called the way. Right. The early church was called the way. No Christianity. No Islam. No seven-day Adventists, no Mormonisms, no Catholicism, none of that mess, no Jehovah Witness. Now, obviously, in that time, there were many, many different factions, you know, once Christ ascended, but that came after a lot of uh, division and debating and, and this and that, you know, even even. Um, even some even some of the, the even some of the, the brothers during the during the apostles time that were uh they they were basically infighting you know what i mean just uh, just a bunch of mess all over the place you know different ideologies and christ had warned that had warned that this would happen within the body of christ you know so satan would come in and and you know he start playing games with everybody <laughs> you know you understand what i'm saying i mean people would be fighting in a turmoil i mean man and even today, it's, it's still like that. Everybody seems to think they got the way. You understand? Everybody think they got the way. Everybody seems to think that they now just more than the other. Not understanding that, that, yo, guess what? If all of us are truly operating under the gospel and doctrine of Christ, it will be no Christian denominational religion. If all so-called Christians and believers were following this Bible together as one member, one body, one member, one body, one direction, Hebrew, 
and Gentile. Children of Israel and also the children of non-Hebrew bloodline. If we were all on the same page. But that's a whole different conversation. I'm talking about more so the gifts. But the gifts in themselves can also cause division. If you have people that are operating in it in pride or they puffed up. Y'all understand what I'm saying? And you know, hey, we've seen a whole lot of them. We've seen a whole lot of them, brothers and sisters. And I tell you, I mean, <laughs> in this hour right now, guess what? You know, it, it, it. The most high probably, you know, he probably, he like, oh man, look, look at my children. Look what they're doing down there. Still, still fighting. Still fighting. I'm giving them all this grace and mercy and they're still fighting. Phew. Boy, I tell you, we got to get together, y'all. I mean, we have a short time, you know. Every man must seek out his own salvation with fear and trembling. That is true. But, you know, guess what? When you have the numbers, all members working cohesively in complete solidarity, preaching this gospel of Christ, Prophecy, the history, the history of the people, salvation, judgment. Guess what? That's Christ. Complete volume of the book. That's it. And if we was all operating and thinking like that, wouldn't have none of these fights that we see out here or on social media and, and things we've seen in the past. I mean, just... Just craziness. Just, just a bunch of craziness. Well, anyway, brothers and sisters, let's continue, okay? Um, where am I? Um, but now, uh, let's see where I'm at. Verse 16. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now, are they many members, yet but one body? And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. Nor again, the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Nay, no, much more. Those members of the body, which seem to be more feeble, are, are necessary. And those members of the body, which we think to be less honorable upon these, we bestow more abundant honor and our comely parts have more abundant comeliness. See that, brothers and sisters? Abundant comeliness. All parts important. Every piece. 